Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 19th, okay? So keep in mind that the timing is fluid and not every reading is for you. This reading may or may not be for you, okay? What do we have for a message today? Six of Cups reversed. First card out, Six of Cups reversed. Page of Wands, Page of Wands. Let's just get a couple before we do. Ooh, I knew we needed to wait. Unexpected choice in love, okay? This is a choice, okay? This is a, probably a sexual connection. There's obviously opportunities for love or an opportunity for a very uh, compatible uh, union here. I mean, this angel is bringing two people together. It looks like the woman is like, are you sure? Should I? Should I? Should I really do this? Should I? Is this really the one? Is it? There's an offer or an invite that is coming. Okay, this is an offer or an invite that is coming. We got somebody who has a strong desire, right? Okay, a strong desire for, I don't know, maybe it's intimacy. Maybe it's for uh, companionship. Maybe it's for a partner. Whatever it is, it's, this angel has brought in these two people together for a reason. There's going to be an offer or an invite here. Somebody may be going somewhere. The past is the past. The Six of Cups in the reversed. That's leaving the past behind. Okay, it's in the past position. This is letting go of the past. Could be packing up. It's, it's freedom from obligation. We have an exciting new opportunity here. There's definitely an attraction. There's some sort of chemistry. I feel like we have some, we have, but there is chemistry. There's, there's sexual chemistry. I got that. I don't know. I'm not going to say it, but I'm just saying. Anyhow, um, page of wands. That is an offer or an invite. This could be somebody that is bursting at, into your world out of nowhere. This could be, this is a new suitor. And the lovers is unexpected unexpected so there's an unexpected opportunity here now the six of cups is reversed so let's just get another card on that six of cups all right for all of you that are clinging to the past because six of cups reversed about clinging to the past so let's get another card on that six of cups reversed nothing stays the same nothing stays the same Five of Cups reverse. Somebody's been grieving too long. They've been focusing. They've been focusing on the past. This is about realizing that there's another option. That there's another opportunity. It's focusing on the future now. Moving on. Moving on. So there is somebody here that is moving on. They are. They're moving on. They are. They've been crying over the loss, moping over the loss, focusing on the loss. Definitely now we have a new vision. We have a new drive. We have a new desire. Maybe there's a new love connection here. Mm. Taking a new adventure with the Page of Wands. There is opportunities. We have, we have an opportunity for passion here. Ooh, Ten of Swords. Now, Ten of Swords is the end of suffering. There's obviously been some suffering. This is uh, uh, the death of a situation, the death of the past, the end of, the end of suffering, the end of hanging on, crying over the past. This is the past. Hanging on to the past is over. The past is dead.
Ooh, seven of swords reversed. Now the seven of swords reversed is letting go, finding a new approach. We may have somebody here that is running into somebody. They're running into somebody, but the lovers especially in this, it could, and then the page of wands is all of a sudden, and this could be not looking where you're going and you literally run into somebody. There is some news that is coming out as well. Somebody may be getting some news. I don't know if there's been some cheating. There's been some lies. Somebody's cheated, you know. that. I mean, somebody may receive news um, that whoever they were hanging on to in the past is in a new commitment or they've cheated or something. There could be definitely some cheating here. There's a new sexual partner here. There's definitely a new sexual partner here. Absolutely. Seven of Swords reversed. Somebody could be coming back around as well. <laughs> Knight of Cups. This is an offer or a proposal or an advance. This is an, the knight in shining armor, right? This is an opportunity for love. Acting on feelings, declaring feelings, declaring intentions, uh, wooing, uh, courting, um, communicating, showing emotions, flirting, expressing um, an offer, an invite, something like that, socializing. Somebody is about to get an offer from an individual that is looking for love. This person is looking for love. You know, they, they're looking. They're looking for love. Seven of Swords reverse. This is taking a new approach. I feel like we have somebody here that was clinging to the past. They were clinging to the memories or they were clinging to somebody who wasn't reciprocating. That hurt them. They've been suffering. They've been suffering. They've been laying there allowing themselves to suffer. Crying over the loss, ignoring an opportunity because of the past, because of the memories, because of, because of the memories. Because that's what they were focusing on. It's like now though, now it's like they get this sudden desire to have a connection, you know, to be in a relationship or to express feelings or to get some tender loving care or something like that taking a new approach. Somebody is definitely about to take a new approach. Good news is coming. Somebody's about to get an offer or an invite that they totally do not expect. And it could come extremely spon spontaneously. I suppose that it, there could be somebody from the past here that hurt somebody really, 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 really bad that is now starting to see something, they could be making an appearance as well. It could be somebody from the past. It could be. It's completely unexpected. It could be. I mean, I can't say that it's not. But somebody has been clinging to the past. And, but this, and this is letting go with the Five of Cups reversed. Letting go of the suffering. Letting go. Letting go of the pain. Taking a new approach, going down a new path, connecting with somebody on a, you know what I mean? This lovers is a potential soulmate, okay? It's a soulmate level. It is. I think that we have two people that are meant to be together that are coming together at this time. I feel like there's been a delay because of the past, okay? That's what I feel. Maybe somebody had to free themselves from an obligation first, or they needed to stop crying. They needed to stop wallowing. They needed to uh, look in a different direction, and they were struggling to do so. Four of Swords reversed. Four of Swords is extremely exhausted, tired, fed up, been isolated, too long, done, sick of it, sick of it, looking, looking to, this is like waking up, waking up, somebody has been asleep, they've been, they've been thinking about it, they've been healing, they've been, they've been staying in their situation, taking a time out, uh, 
they've come to a point, I feel like we have somebody here that has come to a point where, you know, they want to live, they want a different life. They're sick and tired of waiting, they're sick and tired of being alone, or something like that. Ace of Wands reverse, underneath that Four of Swords, Ace of Wands reverse is going south. It's going south. There's dashed expectations. There's a lack of passion. Somebody's in a passionless situation. There's no desire, no, it looks like there's no sex. I mean, just being honest, Ace of Wands reversed is like nothing, okay? Um, Four of Swords, this is like a dead end. Somebody may have been in a dead-end situation. They've been empty and lonely, feeling empty inside. Um, taking a new approach, following their intuition, reconnecting. I feel like for some of you, this is a connecting with a soulmate. You may have somebody here that uh, is just, they're ready. They're ready. They're ready to go. They are. I feel like they are. They're ready to go. You may have somebody here that's making an escape as well with the Seven of Swords reversed. This is like skipping town, you know, or making an escape, you know, going towards a soulmate, going towards somebody that, you know, I feel like they were reluctant to go towards, there's been some sort of reluctance because of somebody in the past. My nose is starting to itch. Maybe I'm going to kiss a fool. But the lovers is a commitment. It's a perfect union. It's a perfect match. I was looking at my little baby right there. There is a perfect match here. There's an offer or a proposal with the Knight of Cups right underneath it. So somebody's about to get an offer, an invite, a proposal. This is the end of stagnation. Something is about to change. There's been no passion. There's been no drive. There's been no desire. There's, there's been a lack thereof. Um, ooh, eight of swords. So we got mental turmoil here. We got reevaluation. Somebody has been trapped, okay? They've been trapped in their mind. They've been trapped in fear. They've been really struggling to remove themselves from a situation. Somebody has really been struggling. They've been confining themselves, restricting themselves. But it's interesting that I said something about escape. This is like escaping from some sort of prison. Somebody has been in a situation where it's felt like prison, but they chose to be there. They chose to restrict themselves. They chose to confine themselves. They chose to protect themselves. They chose to play it safe. They, they chose to stay. But I see made the Seven of Swords reverse is like making an escape, making a getaway. You know, somebody may be getting away from something. It's been rough. It has been. It feels like this person has played the victim. They've allowed themselves to be a victim. We have somebody here that has chosen to be a victim of their circumstances. And I feel like they've reached a point where they just don't want to live like this anymore. This is no life. It's no life. It's no life, you know? And they have another option here. Absolutely. The lo lovers is always a choice. And when you got a choice, it's more than one, okay? It's got to be at least two. So there's a choice, there's an unexpected choice. Somebody's gonna be making a choice. They're following their heart, they're following their intuition. I feel like they're, like they're breaking free from some sort of restriction. They've, they've felt empty and lost inside for so long. There's been no passion, there's been no desire, there's been no attraction to their current circumstances. And they've been left out in the cold. You know, they've been ignored. Queen of Cups reverse could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This is somebody that is emotionally withdrawn, you know? Non-communicative, doesn't communicate well, doesn't open up emotions, isn't, isn't committed emotionally. Let me use the silent treatment. 
Could be an unrequited love situation. Somebody may be in a situation where there's no desire, there's no attraction, there's no love. This is, could be a loveless situation with the Queen of Cups reversed. This is emotionally disappointing. This is, I do believe there's some sort of sadness here. A need to break free. I'm, I, there's no desire to be in this. This is like a dead end. It is a dead end. You got somebody here that just wants a new life and they have a new connection here. Mm -hmm. Somebody could be coming clean. They may be owning up. They may be even just coming clean with the Seven of Swords reversed, you know, and, you know, saying something. It's just like, you know what? I have somebody else or something like that. That could absolutely be the case. There is, there is an unexpected choice in love here. Somebody is following their heart, their, ha their, their feelings. Their, it's like they have some sort of feelings for somebody that they have been trying to restrict themselves from. They've been trying to uh, ignore, but the connection is very, very, very strong. It's divinely guided, okay? With a lover's card, it's divinely guided. Somebody's about to receive a message. It's exciting. It's good news. It's what, and they don't expect it. This is from a potential soulmate, and this this message may lead to. Oh, it feels like some sort of intimacy. Could definitely lead to wish fulfillment. Nine of Cups. This is a wish for, wish granted, right? For, bleh, wish fulfillment. This is, this is pinching yourself. I'm so happy. I'm so, so, so happy with the outcome. This is a lot of satisfaction. I'm so satisfied. This could lead, this, this is, a, and I feel like somebody hasn't been getting any satisfaction. This is, this is satisfied. Okay. This is like as happy as you can be. This is it. This is like, I'm a happy, this is a cat that got the canary. You know, it's like, I'm so, 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 so happy with my decision to, it is a decision with a lover's card to go down this path because the page of wands goes, is focused and takes a risk. So somebody is going to be taking a risk. They're going to be taking a risk. They're making some sort of, they're taking a new approach. They've been suffering. They've been alone. They've been isolating themselves because they were, were holding on to some th memories or something like that. Now there's going, there's going to be, <laughs> somebody's going to do something that makes them extremely happy, extremely, extremely, extremely happy. One more card. Five of Wands reverse. Now that's typically the end of a battle, the end of a conflict, um, the end of difficulty. There's been some sort of competition. There's been some sort of games. It's over. It's over. This is the end. Okay, it's the end of the competition. It's the end of the battle. It's the end of the games. Somebody may be stepping up. They're stepping up. They're coming clean. They're, they're breaking free from something that has been restricting them. They're done playing. They're done. They're done. They're done playing. They're ready for a relationship. They're ready for love. That's what it looks like to me. An offer, an invite is coming. I think you may be surprised as to who it comes from. Good luck.